you get it? Is it on? <laughs> Ed and Aaron. This time, Aaron's on location. What are you doing, bud? Hey, listen, as the kids say, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? Uh, we, what's up, brother? I, special phase, <laughs> special teams. <laughs> I have gained uh, so much knowledge by living in the bunks with uh, 10, 12-year-olds and my assistant coach for the last three, four days. Uh, it's There's been a lot of learning since we've had to teach them about uh, – learning how to change, how to shower in dorm settings. There's been a lot of growing up on this trip, but, you know, the streets of New York uh, were down by the Hall of Fame today. So nice. it's, it's I, you know, I've never really been an East Coast guy, never been out here. I mean, Florida, but not New York. So it's been cool, man. It's been fun. Good. So, so what's the record through five games? So through five, we're three and two. Nice. Um, we should probably, we're, yeah, we're we're doing well. We've uh, we probably should be four and one, but uh, you know it is what it is. But we're we're sitting, I think, twenty first or twenty second out of fifty four teams right now. Okay. So uh, we got a we got a tough matchup tonight. Uh, but if we do well there, we should be real good shape going into bracket play tomorrow. Um, even a loss isn't the end of the world. We're we're in decent. We're we're in good shape. A win tonight though puts us sets us up real nice for tomorrow. Okay, but so- it's been fun. The boys boys have had a good time. So how are the boys doing it? They, they love it there? They love it, dude. They think they're just like, you know, kings of the cats. So they're like, it's great down here. It's really cool. You know, they have so many souvenir shops and memorabilia you can buy. And I mean, it's like, a, it, it's literally some, one of my friends told me this and it's true. This place is like Disneyland for baseball guys, right? Like, I mean, there's 12 fields. Some of them are different style. Like we played on one that was like, had a monster wall. Uh, it's just super cool, man. Um, they do a really good job out here and, and the kids get jacked up and it's fun, but, uh, yeah, they open it up. But so, so with Cooperstown, the big thing that all the boys is that they we play on a lot smaller fields, like 200 foot fences. So of course, what do they all do? They all want to hit a home run because Cooperstown's known for kind of like home run derby type of thing. So you could see them all pressing early on. And, uh, you know, we got a couple on the board early and Braxton hit, uh, his first home run in, in the first game, like his second at bat. And it was obviously a super proud dad moment. Uh, we got it on video. and So it was pretty cool. So I think after that, they started to settle in. I got caught on video yesterday, premature celebration. I thought he had another one. He's banged two that have hit like at the very top of the fence. I had my hands up. I thought we got another one. But uh, yeah, you know, it's been fun. Uh, a lot of like cafeteria style food eating, but it's been fun, man. They, they're, they're living their best lives. So they're having a good time. They're enjoying it out there. Oh yeah. How's the oh yeah? Dude, how's they, the they baseball coach? It. Is the baseball coach stretching out there? You stressing with the we're, uh, <laughs> I tell you, we've gone from uh, we're starting to we're starting to get bunker bunkhouse delirious. I think in there, <laughs> um, with the two of us. So uh, there's some there's some funny moments for sure. But uh, you know, it's definitely one of those things, especially as a coach and as a dad coach. You know, getting to experience this with my son is, is really something special, you know, and, and we all have those events in our life where you do something like, you know, you guys just got back from Hawaii and, you know, there's stuff like, you know, like your first sale or maybe your first million dollar sale or a nine and a half million dollar sale. It's like, sometimes those, there's those events in your life that, you know, you're going to remember. And, and this is definitely one of those trips that neither of us will forget for a long time. Good. Good. Now I, I do have a question for you. Um, and I hate to bring up bad stuff, but I, just, I haven't been thrown out of any games. No. The answer is no, zero. <laughs> I've been thrown out of zero games, zero games. No, but I, but I have a serious question for you. So how was it? Because the first game, you guys boat raced them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great job. You know, I'm, I'm following on the app, Game Changer you gave right. me, which is amazing. Um, the second one was a close game, and you guys yeah. lost. Yeah. The third game, you guys lost again. So yeah. how did you that get, one got chippy? So how did you get your boys up for the fourth game when you just lost a close game and then you got boat raised? My message that was delivered to the team is stop being a bunch of dorks and go play some baseball. Uh, and that was as simple as that. Is that you know we get into these things where you just start overthinking, right? You overthink a transaction, you overthink the buying, the selling process, the prospecting. You know, sometimes you have that, that saying, you know, uh, paralysis by analysis. And and I really think that's where they started to get is that we knew we knew the two teams that we lost to were were pretty good teams. The one 
we got uh you know we got kind of handed to the second day uh, a team out of texas you know and they had a pitcher throwing hard and they popped a few home runs on us and they just had the wind kind of knocked out of them so it was really just like guys we are halfway through pool play like we are 50 percent there as long as we write this ship and, and stop pressing stop trying to hit home runs stop trying to blow it right just go play just go play our baseball and um you know that night game they definitely uh they definitely woke the bats up and we started raking again. We started having more fun. And it's funny because the parents said, you know, when you guys are, when the guys coaches, you know, when we're laughing more and joking with them, you know, that starts to rub off and they start to forget like that they're pressing and they, they just relax and, and has fun. Like this morning I had, I had a catcher's visor. Our catcher has a visor on his helmet. He had to take it off because it was rainy. Like I stuck it across my hat. So I'm out there looking like I'm wearing like an astronaut helmet. I got a sliding mitt on one hand, you know? And I was like, I was like, I was like, man, if you're not coaching through with a sliding mitt on, are you even coaching? And, you know, they just started, you could see like the weight just kind of lifted a little bit. And so that's all they needed, man. They just needed a couple hits to fall in and, you know, just to kind of keep things moving and get back to doing what they knew how to do. You know, when you start being somebody else and trying to operate like a different agent or like a different team, it's like, just do stick to what got you there. And uh, once they did that, they settled in pretty good. Oh, okay, good. Because I, I was concerned, right? I was because I was following you guys, and I'm trying to keep up with with when your games are and what you're doing, and I wanted to see, hey, how's it going? Then I saw the two losses back to back, and I was like, oof, how are they going to come back from that? Especially being out of town, right? So you don't have yeah. the comfort of going home and regrouping and and saying, okay, tomorrow's another day. You you're in a foreign place around a bunch of people you don't know. How are you going to get through this? So I was curious to see what the message delivered was. You know, it's just like, you know, it's just like, just go back to the basics. You know, it's like, go back to your bread and butter. Stop trying, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, when I always mess with you, it's like, dude, you, you live to thrive off like chaos, creative deals. When things are like out of the ordinary, like, you know, there's a, a lot of people are A to B straight in line. It's like, well, sometimes, you know, you got a windy road and that's when you survive, you know, and it's like, these guys were just, you just needed to, just get back to being them. And as soon as they got back to being them, they stopped putting so much pressure on themselves, like especially trying to hit home runs. These guys are all trying to hit home runs. I'm like, dude, guys, the home runs will come when we go back to this swinging like we know them too. They started banging balls around and then they got a couple of runs and they, they started to feel pretty good about themselves. And, you know, then it just became contagious. You know, it's kind of like in the office when we work, when I hear you on the phone, I'm always like, dang, I got to get back. I got to get on it now, right? That kind of, that kind of mindset just kind of triggered with them. It kind of caught on. And they just started one after the other, next guy up, next guy up. And we just started putting some runs on the board. And we needed a big win this morning. And, and they came out and they put it on. Did they already have their pin exchange day? Oh, gosh. We got we got one of the kids pin day trading tie. I think the guy's going to be on a Wall Street. I've never seen a guy wheel and deal so many, so many pins in his life. So and they all got nicknames now based on their their behaviors and the in the bonks and stuff. But yeah, the pin trading has been going nuts. Uh, Braxton, we he's been the he's the he's apparently he's the master. The trade. He doesn't trade a lot. He's very he's very uh, strategic on his trades. Where we got some guys, man, those things don't even make it into their pocket before they're wheeling dealing them out. You know. Two for one, three for one. I'll give you this guy for this guy. Oh, it's it's pretty funny to watch. So so now that they all have, but they're own, wheeling dealing. Now that they all have their own nicknames, what's Braxton's nickname? Oh, uh, we call him Weight Room. Weight Room. Weight Room. Because uh, yeah, Weight Room. He's put one over and three off like the top of the fence, and so we told him he's got a he's got a weight room. Sir needs sir needs more protein is what we call him. Either weight room or our, our sir, sir needs more protein. Yeah, sir we got needs. sir needs more protein. We got a uh, sir spills a lot. There was one kid spills out his water every time we go eat anywhere, like in the cafeteria. We got a uh, sir forgets everything. We, we got into the field twice and he forgot stuff. And I had to run all the way back to the bunk. Oh, yeah. We got sir snacks a lot in there. We got one kid. Sir farts a lot. Is He's, he's, up, he's up there, man. <laughs> He's he's power bombing everybody in there. Oh, oh man! We I instituted a new rule. You get caught doing something like that, you're out of the bunk for 20 minutes. You got to call him the crop duster. That's oh, sort that's a good one. Yeah, but it's it's been fun, man. It's been a good experience. 
So, so here we've been holding down the fort while you've been gone. Um, yeah. We have some bad news mm. that they, uh, that our arch nemesis, Willow Manor, has oh, no. taken over first place on the boards. That's okay. That's um, okay. So we need to get back to the basics. Um, right. See? Prospect and, and do what we need to do. Um, right. But yeah, it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty here comes, chill. Here comes the crew. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see if I can. I gotta unblur my background somehow. I don't think I can un. Uh, we're starting to get some of the boys. Oh wow! Starting to get some of the boys popping up in here. Get in here. Let's see, get your face in there. there we got some go. of them making. We got some of them making some cameos now. <laughs> All the way they're just coming out of now. lunch. Oh, they're coming out they're of lunch. They're just coming out of lunch, and we're about to head over to uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. Baseball Hall of Fame. So you're going today? Yeah. So it's it's an in-between the games, like to distract yeah. you a little. Yeah, yeah. Is that going to be a so, big distraction, do you think? Nah, we're good to go, baby. So so we're we're off the number one. Hey, listen, that's just like the boys. Just getting back to the basics, like you said. We dropped a couple early, but we're back on pace. So we just got to... We're just going to keep doing what we're doing, get get right back after them, right? That's what we're going to do. We're uh, yeah, we're back after it. I'm I'm back in prospecting mode, full I like this. full gear. Um, you get back Thursday. Yep. Because you get back in town Wednesday, but you get back to work Thursday. Yep, and then we're all over it. Then we're, we're going to take this can take this can do attitude and go chase those guys down. You know, like, I feel like every good movie or somebody, they've got a little rivalry and there's a little ups and downs, you know, a little plot twist, but you know, the good guys always win. Yeah. I went to, I went to their best by their office today. I was like, wow, you guys are here mighty early because you're number one on the board now. <laughs> and they said, yeah, we're they're going to catch your, they're saying, Go they said, they said they were waiting for the board to be updated. So that yeah. they could pop the champagne. I'm like, wow, if it's that serious, mm -hmm. I'm glad you guys won a month. <laughs> nah, they they wanted to catch your reaction when you came in this morning. I told I told them on Friday. I found out Friday. I walked in and I was like, you know what? I come in here and give you guys a bunch of business when we're in first place. We dropped the second, but I'm still gonna give you the business. So let's let's do this. I like it. It's just a minor setback, you know? Minor setbacks. So, so the they team, can hold on. So, who, how has uh, the pitching held up there? Uh, we're, you know, we're in good shape. Uh, we had a big run this morning by one of our guys. We needed him to really have a good outing to help save it, and he did. And then we, we, we run rolled him, which is good. We beat him in solar. But our one pitcher was able to fill the whole room for us and keep his pitches low. So, he saved us for tonight. And then we got most of our horses ready to go. We can get through tonight with, with our plan. We'll have, we'll have some good horses back tomorrow. Really good for All right. And then tomorrow's bracket play. How does that work? So based on how we finish today, we will uh, we'll get slotted in a 1 through 54. If we're in the top 24, we're in really good shape. The most we would have to play the money would be two. If we're in like the top 35, we have more feet have to play as three. Two. So, uh, yeah, so if we well, should be a good thing. If, if we win tonight, we'll be, we should be in the top 24, which will be real good, which will save us pitching because we'll only have to play two tomorrow. Uh, but it's one and done. So you you lose tomorrow, you know, you can pack your bags and, and go home. Uh, if, you, if you keep winning, you just keep on going. So if we, so you need a good seed going into tomorrow so you can save some pitching. Because if you're one of the bottom seeds, if you make a run, you could have to play five games. <laughs> so, so you're saying just like in a real estate team, teams are important. And, teams are important. Everybody's got to know their role. Everybody's got to, you know, do their part. Yeah, absolutely. Having the coaching is important. Having everybody know their role and do kind of what they do and what they're good at. Yeah. To ensure that we're uh, that we're in a position to win. Well, and it's like that too. Like we have this fact that sometimes you need to know when to cut bait, right? And, and move on or kill a deal or, you know, like when it's not the right area. And we had some, we had some pitchers go the other day and it was, Hey, listen, it's not your day. Let's get you out of here, save pitches, regroup, and, you know, re-strategize. <laughs>